Go ahead. You'd be doing me a favor. So. Oh, sorry. It's just, I thought you were one of them. This is kind of weird with two heads aliens was monster. Dear, dear, what I'd give for even an ounce of their feral ignorance. A burden often accompanies self-awareness, sir. Living with the abject savagery of one's own kith and kin is quite more than one can bear sometimes. No! The torment of it all! I understand. I, too, am of a series designed to destroy. Oh. In that case, I have something that may interest you. But may I first humbly request a meager few bowls for food? Lovely long time since I've eaten. This is Darla Gratch, reporting live from Algon City, where Protopet Mania is in full swing. For those who've spent the past week in hypersleep, the Protopet is Megacorp's wildly popular bioengineered pet. Adorable, non-allergenic, and housebroken, fans of the creature have dubbed it the perfect companion. Between the protopet's surprisingly low price tag and its lightning fast breeding cycle, there may soon be more than enough protopets for everyone. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. The entire population of that planet will be devoured. Unless we get there in time. Oh. Yes. Your arrival with the Moonstones is most fortuitous, for it is in this very moment that I am able to move the rock. <laughs> Gee, what a coincidence. Thank you, sir. That was most helpful. Your gratitude is comforting, child. I have also found a piece of something called a Hypnomatic. You may have it in exchange for more Moonstones. Wait, I thought you had no need for material possessions. Please, do not lay your burdens upon me now. I am weary from lifting the rock, and I must rest. <sighs> Here we go again to find some stones what he needs. Uh, hello? We've got more Moonstones. No, you have not. What? What? Existence is a lie. Sensations are illusions. Possessions are merely visions. All right, I've got an illusion of some moonstones. I'll trade it for a vision of that hypnomatic part. You have learned much, young one. Now bring me more moonstones, and riches shall be your reward. Sorry. <laughs> You're getting sleepy! Very sleepy! Uh, uh, you are getting very sleepy. Ahem. <clears throat> ah! A customer! You, sir, look like someone who could use a hypnomatic! Okay... Just bring us the part, and we'll make it for free. Ah, for a fee! A very small fee. <laughs> Use it wisely! Do not even think about it. <sighs> I get that, La. That's for children, not adults. Hey, nice digs. Yeah, it's a little remnant from my previous life. You were reincarnated? No, no. My Megacorp days. They've got a very generous bonus package. Uh, right. So now that you've got your ID badge, how do we take out the protopet?
Watch this. Mommy, where do protopets come from? Why, they come from Megacorp, dear. That's right, Mrs. Robot. All of the protopets in the galaxy come from right here, in our factory. Your little friend is lovingly extracted from the original protopet. Each protopet is given a name and birth certificate that is unique. Our training system helps mold your pet into a wonderful friend that you'll cherish forever. So the next time your child asks, Mommy, where do protopets come from? You can answer with confidence. They come from Megacorp. That factory is using the original protopet to produce all the others. Exactly. If we can take out the original protopet, That'll shut them down permanently. 20% off a complete service at Groovy Lube? Oops. <laughs> Wrong one. This will deactivate the door to the protopet duplication area. I'll meet you there. Sure you want to split up? Well, Megacorp's orbital defenses are nasty. With two ships, there's a good chance at least one of us will get through. Good thinking. Just be careful. <laughs> This is it, the protopet duplication room. I'm sorry I'm late. I had some trouble with the guards. No problem. You're just in time. Okay, let's see if this thing works. She is trying to tell us something. Bye now! Enjoy the Hygienator! <laughs> Remember, you bought it from Steve! <laughs> Steve McQuark! Indeed. Now that I've sold my one millionth Hygienator, I can finance the comeback of the greatest superhero who ever lived! Captain Quark! All I need now is a new galaxy with a new fan base so I can rescue them from a new disaster! Sir, I do not understand. Mr. Fizz Widget! <laughs> this is bad. All right, just what the f is going on? Angela, watch your language. And Quark, you were behind all this. You tricked us. <laughs> Allow me to explain. I'm about to save the galaxy from the protopets, and you are about to become public enemy number one. Oh, and two and three. Guards, seize them! Smile, it's showtime. <clears throat> Citizens of Bogon, I am Captain Quark. I come to you in this, your darkest of hours, to shine the flashlight of justice on your galaxy. <laughs> flashlight of justice? <laughs> As you know, a living menace called the Protopet has been set loose in your galaxy. But fear not, Boganites. I, Captain Quark, have caught the perpetrators. Yes, good citizens, these are the masterminds behind Megacorp's experiment with death. And now, with this, uh, super electro gadget I invented, I will end the protopath threat once and for all. That's my elixir I invented... <laughs> Ahem. Stay tuned, dear viewers, as I amplify the signal from this helix so thingy and render every protopet in the galaxy completely harmless. Allow me to demonstrate. Quark, don't even think about it. <laughs> Elixomorph actually work? It used to. I could probably fix it. Come on, Clank. Let's get it back. The soon I would teach that Captain Quark a lesson. <laughs>